A warm welcome back to Tim Hortons Field. Canadian Premier League action between Forge FC and York United. It's the fourth and final 905 derby of 2023. OK, Forge, two changes to the team that got beaten by Cavalry. Noah Jensen comes into midfield. Martin Nash has decided a couple of changes are in order after that wild 3-3 draw in Ottawa. Unbeaten in the last three home games, Hamill, uh, Forge, as Becker crosses it into the area, and Adisa Di Rosario just about held on. First involvement for the young man. Nothing, nothing over the top, but it definitely a little bit tasty. Borges takes it down in the wing, first time cross. That's for Becker, that's the opening goal. Borges and Becker combine. How many times have we seen it over the years? And in the blink of an eye, Adisa Di Rosario is forced to pull the ball out of the back of the net. Borges for backup, forged lead by a goal to nil. What more can you say about that goal? Firstly, the goal, the ball out to Borges, his first touch outside of his left foot, ball comes into him. The younger son. Now, Paris G. Almost fell for Becker, who got a touch on it, and Terran Campbell. A little isolated, but he's got some help from Borges, who might hit one. Borges needed the save from Di Rosario, who got up quickly and managed to claim it. Yeah, great, great decision from Terran Campbell. He looked out left, seen Kyle Becker was up. Yeah, calling that game last week, despite conceding the three goals against Atletico Ottawa. I was very, very impressed with the way he played. Now you're battling for possession against Matusler, he's won the skirmish. Now, can they keep this going? Sumaro to that far side, and off the post and in the back of the net from Kevin Dos Santos. Managed to curl it round Tristan Henry. And three minutes into the second half, York United are back on terms at Tim Hortons Field. The Portuguese winger has struck for the visitors. It's 1-1. In the 9.05 derby. What a finish that is. No back lift, no back lift. They're trying to force him down the line onto his left foot. Yeah, there would have been contact there, but there's no way, no reason to roll around like that. Paddy Banga, that's clever. Becker is onside. First time cross. My goodness me. Guess who? Terran Campbell sliding in. Goal number nine of the season. And Forge are back in front, Becker has a goal, he has an assist, and Campbell leads the race for the Golden Boots. It's 2-1 Forge. All I'll say is repeat what I said at the other end of the field. Get across the front post. A great flick from Batty Banga. Ball goes out to Kyle Becker. As soon as it lands on him... Well, Becker says, I want it. And you know where that's going, looking... Again, for Borges, who almost won it, was there a foul? Get up, says the referee, despite the protests. See, for me, that's a penalty. With them being such a young league as well, yeah. they're, they're trying to put something in because there have been a lot of refereeing issues. Wright using his body well. Brian Wright has put it in the back of the net. And York United, out of absolutely nothing, are back on terms. Brian Wright has scored into consecutive games, and it's 2-2 in Hamilton. Talk about being a centre forward ready to ready to wrestle with a centre back. To win possession there and just glide through the two centre backs and then finish like that. Can uh, all in the same game. Brian Wright equalising, giving chase again. And Henry is struggling with it. Right goes to ground, now who's going to take responsibility? Goodness me, panic stations at the back for Forge. Can York United take advantage? Bahia into the area, and Ashenyori Jonsson, and it's in the back of the net, it's Moba Bouli. And Moba Bouli scores against the team with which he won the CPL Championship in 2020. Henry couldn't deal with it, it was a real mess at the back. The Forge, 
And Mobabuli makes it 3-2 to the visitors. What is going on? Like, firstly, Tristan Henry comes across, could have given away a penalty to Brian Wright. Then the ball gets played across their own face of the goal. James will bring it forward again. And Borges has got some room on that far side, menacing into the area. Campbell keeps it in field. Campbell, it was that a handball? It was a handball. It's going to be a penalty to Forge. Referee was close by, saw the hand out. Yellow card, penalty. No way. I don't know how much tighter Abatni can get his arm. Does... Looking for a brace. Campbell, fine save, Campbell. Second attempt, 3-3 in Hamilton. Di Rosario saved the spot kick. It rebounded straight to Terran Campbell, who buried it for his 10th of the season. What a game at Tim Hortons Field. First and foremost, Adisa Di Rosario. Well done. Great save. But emotions, well, of course they're going to be high in a game such as this. In a derby game, and Campbell has taken it away from Di Rosario. They should make it for and Becker and off the line, I think perhaps by a bat name. Richie's gone over into the area, but that's too close to Tristan Henry. And Mr. Villanueva blows his final whistle. A thriller in Hamilton, in the rain. If the 9.05 derby ends a point apiece, handshakes between the coaches, a topsy-turvy battle that ended without a win-up, but plenty of excitement. Mo Babuli among the goal scorers, and Adisa Di Rosario ends his York United debut with a point. It's 3-3 in Hamilton.